Hello everyone, it's me Natsu here, and today we're going to be taking a look here at the LR Super Saiyan God Goku and hit banner. Now, I took a little sneak peek at this banner just to kind of see what's going on here, and I feel like it's pretty good, so of course it's going to be a should you summon video, and at the end I'll go ahead and throw in two multis, kind of discuss, you know, what, what if you should summon or not, basically. So, let's take a look at this banner. LR God Goku and Hint. A lot of people really have wanted this unit for a very long time. Me personally, I have as well. This unit's very good. They do lead a new category, high speed battle slash etc. battle, depending on what you prefer in your translation and universe survival saga. Key 4 and 150% to HP attack and defense. Very valuable leader skill. A very, very good unit as well. If you look at their passive skill, they get 170% attack and defense starter turn. They get 60% attack and defense, the stable enemy's guard. I believe they also get a high chance to dodge as well, and 6 key as the first or second attacker in a turn. As the third attacker in a turn, they get 7 key and 70% attack when attacking. So you have to keep in mind that when attacking, that's actually a separate buff calculated. So the actual 60% attack and defense that they have in the first slot, that kind of is calculated the same as their 170% starter turn. But the 70% in the third slot is when attacking, so it's a different phase that's calculated and which makes it become a lot bigger than just that 70%. They also can launch an additional attack which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack as a third attacker in a turn. They have an active skill as well, so their active skill could be used after performing three super attacks when HP is 76% or less. They get 30% attack and defense. And their super attack effects, they raise attack and defense uh, normal on 12 key, greatly on 18 key, and they can both have a high chance of stun. So yeah, that's covering the unit. Uh, on paper, they seem very, very good. In gameplay, they look very, very good as well. I would say these guys are definitely themselves worth summoning for. They're a very, very strong unit. But of course, we know that they also... Well, one also thing to consider is that they're all in small cat amount of category teams. But honestly, these guys are very valuable with their leader skill. They have very good links. You know, they could get more categories in the future for all we know. So I would say they're good enough to summon on. Their power is definitely like a top 10 LR level. Um, the big thing though is obviously the banner. You have to consider the rest of the banner here. So this guy, I think I feel like this guy's pretty solid after he's the ace. Uh, he's only restricted to attack team deals, which is very unfortunate since, you know, nowadays mono teams just don't matter. So you won't really ever see this guy in his full situation shine out, which is very unfortunate. This guy's pretty good on a Roma Gods team. Uh, he's not like the best thing ever, I'd say, but he still puts a pretty nice, nut solid attack and defensive numbers. He just has to be on a full Roma Gods team specifically, but that's not as difficult as a full tech team, I'd say. Uh, this God Goku is pretty good. Definitely needs an easy A though, but at least he's a Rainbow Orb Changer and he can still. This Kefla is super, super good after her easy A. Like, th this Kefla, if you haven't gotten her easy A, somehow you need to get her easy A. She is a very, very strong and she can carry you in a lot of difficult contents like, you know, Universe Survival Saga Super Battle Road, Universe 6 Super Battle Road, things like that. She's a staple on like the Kale Galipsa teams, I feel like. She's just too good to not run, honestly, on a lot of the teams she's on. Um, very, very great sub easy A. This Galipsa is pretty good. She can dodge and stuff like that. Uh, this Cat Tech Galipsa, uh, and I believe that's Terracol, yes, these two are very, very valuable. They stand it like age of time. This is literally, they don't age. They have age, I feel like. Well, I feel like Kale maybe has age a little more, but this Khalifa, no. She's not age. In fact, she's got even better. She will continue to get better as long as there's pure sane enemies, which guess what? There will always be pure sane enemies. This Kale, you know, she just needs a Khalifa on the rotation, but she can guard. And again, if there's pure sane or universe Star saga enemies, she'll be pretty good. This physical kill is actually pretty solid as well. Uh, in the first few turns of a uh, Event, I feel like you could definitely use her in difficult content like extreme super battle and things like that It's just that in long content. She can kind of get nerfed a little uh, This champ is solid. I guess you know, he's the universe 6 support type unit really, but he's eh. I wouldn't say he's great or even he's like, okay This bottles is pretty solid too. Uh, she still has that huge support type buff in her kit and she can be definitely a huge help again in super battle type stages Frost kind of sucks. Honestly, let's let's be real Honestly, though, this banner is pretty good. Like, pretty... <laughs> For a legendary summon banner, like, if I had his... Like, obviously, they're insane. You're solid. You're good. You're solid. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're okay. You're good. You're okay. No, actually, you're bad. So, like, 
Compared to other legendary banners, like, you know, say the one that's on uh, Global right now, it's not really that great. The Kid Go, the, I believe it's the LR Goku and Piccolo banner. This banner is actually pretty good. So if you want to summon here, go for it. But you have to keep in mind, Heroes is next month. And then the JP next Dokkan Fest should be soon. And it could be something related to like, you know, Future Trunks or Cell or something. So if you're interested in those characters, you got to keep that in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and get the summon here. Bam. And let's see what we get in this first multi here. Hopefully we get lucky. I definitely want to get like new characters, obviously. Oh, Tian, Chaozu, and Yamcha. Huh? Okay. Okay, so this is a guaranteed feature. Tian, Chaozu, and Yamcha is a guaranteed feature unit. So let's hope. Double screen crack would be ideal here. No double screen crack. Okay. Let's see what I get. But yeah, the issue with me about summoning of this banner is that, like, I love this Goku and Hit unit. I just feel like they're on some little category teams that I feel like personally I don't need the buffs for. I would like them for the tech hit showcase, preferably, but if I can't get them, it is what it is. At the very least, I'll run them as an actual friend unit um, if I don't get them here. But yeah, let's see. Ah. God Goku. I can't use that, unfortunately. It sucks. He's in the last slot right here, too. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in again. So, this probably will be the last multi for the video. Um, I'll, I'll work into it, though. If we get something here, maybe I'll keep going. Let's see. Uh, Vegeta right here. So, let's see if Vegeta can fuse. Is this a fusion? Yes, we are getting a fusion here. A Vegito blue as well. This would be ideal if we do get the LR Goku in hit here. Please give me the LR Goku in hit. I need them really badly. I would love them. That would be a great addition to my teams. <laughs> well, yeah, I said that, but I don't really need them necessarily. But they're still very, very powerful. And I kind of want to have fun trying them out. Like, I've been waiting for this LR for quite some time. It looks like it could be a last slot LR, though, unfortunately. Let's see what I get here. It might be an LR I don't have. Bardock. Actually, funny enough, that's the last copy I need a rainbow, this LR Bardock, huh? He got an EZA recently, so he's pretty good. I cannot end on an LR summon, so... I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll get a couple more stones, and we'll be right back. Alright, and we are here. 100 more stones here. Let's see. Goku and Hit, please. I would love you here to come. Just, come on. Give me Goku and Hit here. We're, we're done playing, you know. We're, we're, we're having some fun here. Another fusion, possibly, huh? Another fusion here. Okay, we're getting pretty lucky. Another Vegito Blue. Dude, two Vegito Blues in a row. That's insane. That's actually really, really good. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll take two Vegeta Blooms in a row. Let's see what we get here. Oh, I almost thought that was the in third form Frieza. That guy, that in third form Frieza is so good. I would love to get another copy of him. Mine's at 79% here. Uh, don't be another last slot one. Uh, you're going to be another last slot one? Really? Man. They're going to do me like this, huh? LR Janemba! Oh, I don't have LR Janemba. <laughs> That's perfect, actually. I can get him ready for global. That's a dub. Honestly, that's a dub. I'll take LR Janemba. I could definitely get him ready for global as well. One more multi, because of course, we can't end on an LR pull for now. But honestly, even if this is an LR, I'm going to end on it. Uh, hopefully, it's a new LR if I get it, though. Nope. Looks like we're not getting anything here. So, yeah. No Goku in the hit, huh? Hmm. That is unfortunate. But honestly, I'm prepared to go with this banner without them. Um... Not really, like, gonna chase them, I feel like. I mean, we have the tech hit EZA, so maybe I can get them off uh, the tech hit stones. Let's go ahead and just skip forward through here. I don't expect to get anything. Yeah, I stare at you right there. Yeah. Oh, well, that is what it is, gamers. So, yeah. Uh, one thing I want to check out here as well is, if you look in the yellow coin shop, I believe LR Super 17 should be in here. Oh, Goku and Piccolo are in here. I might grab them with red coins, to be honest. This is actually probably a solid choice for your red coins right here. Um, yeah, I might, I might grab them person with red coins. That might be a good idea. So yeah, Goku and Piccolo are available with red coins. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, thank you all for watching until the end. Like, share, subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, let me know if you're going to summon. And if you did summon, if you got lucky. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.